Good morning, Pleasant Grove Baptist Church, and welcome to our sunrise service. I am so glad you chose to worship with us this morning. I hope you have a wonderful time worshiping with us, and let us start out by singing The Old Rugged Cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the cross, the old rugged cross, till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the cross, the old rugged cross, and exchange it someday for a crown. Oh, that old rugged cross, so despised by the world, has a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. So I'll cherish the cross, the old rugged cross, till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the cross, the old rugged cross, and exchange it someday for a crown. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and asked, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they counted out for him 30 pieces of silver. I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on, until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. The soldiers led Jesus away into the palace. They put on a purple robe on him. They twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on him. And they began to call out to him, Hail, King of the Jews! Carrying his own cross, he went up to the place of the skull. There they crucified him. O oh death, where is your victory? O oh death, where is your sting? Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. May you have 
a blessed Easter. God sent His Son, they called Him Jesus. He came to love, heal and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. there to prove my Savior lives. Because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Because He lives, all fear is gone. Because I know the future, and life is worth the living just because He lives. How sweet to hold a newborn baby, and feel the pride and joy He gives. But greater still, the calm assurance, this child can face uncertain days because he lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. Fear is gone because I know He holds the future and life is worth a living just because He lives. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our sunrise service. Today I'm going to read two different passages, and the first is found in the book of Luke, chapter 23. Turn with me to Luke, chapter 23. We're going to read verses 39 through 47. Then one of the criminals who were hanged blasphemed him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear it? even God, see you are under the same condemnation, and we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, as surely I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. Now it was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the earth until the ninth hour. Then the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was torn in two. And Jesus had cried out with a loud voice and said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. So when the centurion saw what happened, he glorified God, saying, Certainly, this was a righteous man. Let's have a word of prayer. Father God, as we look into your word, this sunrise service, help us to open our eyes and our ears to what you have to say, and apply it to our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. It's always interesting to preach outside. You never know if we're going to have a truck drive by, the wind is going to blow. But three days ago, three days ago, three men died on a cross. Two were guilty. Two deserved death. Two deserve punishment handed down to them by the Romans. They had no power over their situation and they were powerless to help their situation and their destiny for death. These two died on a cross. With these two men there was one man who was innocent. He did not deserve death. He did not deserve the punishment handed to the by the Romans. 
The Jews cried for his crucifixion. He had power over the situation. He did not need to die. He did not need to suffer pain and humiliation. He willingly stayed on the cross. He died not because he was on the cross, but a choice he made. He chose to die. Three days ago, three men died on a cross. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 28. Matthew chapter 28, we're going to look at verses 1 through 7. Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning, and his clothing as white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him, and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who is crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. And he said, Come, see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and indeed he is going before you into Galilee, there you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Three days ago, three men died on a cross. One entered eternal damnation because of his sin. Two entered paradise because one of them asked Jesus to forgive him. One did not stay in paradise long. Three days ago, three men died on a cross. Two were lost in their sins. One came to forgive sins. One rejected the offer, and one accepted the offer of forgiveness. And the third man made the offer to anyone who accepted him, and he would be forgiven. Three days ago, three men died on a cross. Three were put in tombs. Two of those men in the tombs, their bodies rotted, their graves were sealed, and they were left there. One, his tomb was secured. They had, he had guards. He had a, roll, a stone rolled in its place over the door. And that third man, the stone was rolled away. He sat up. He defeated death. His guards were made null and void. Jesus, that man, is alive, and his offer of sins being forgiven is available today. Because Jesus is alive, our sins are forgiven, death has been defeated, Jesus rose from the grave. He rose from the grave. He did not stay there. I've been to the tomb. It is empty. Three days ago, he died for our sins. We stand here today forgiven because he rose from the grave. That is what Easter is all about. Yes, it's a time where we gather with family. Yes, there's Easter egg hunts, there's chocolate bunnies, there's Easter baskets. And those things are important to spend time with your family and create memories. But they pale in comparison of why we celebrate Easter. We celebrate Easter because of the cross. Not because Jesus died. No, because he's risen from the grave. He is alive today, giving us hope giving us salvation. That is what Easter is about. That is why we celebrate today. Because Jesus is alive. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you that three days ago you died on the cross, but you arose from the grave. You entered the world of the living once again. You chose to give up your life. You chose the brutal humiliation, dying on the cross, for my sins, to give me forgiveness. And three days later, you rose from the grave, defeating death, giving me eternal life. Thank you. Thank you for giving us hope. Thank you for rising from the grave. In Jesus' name, amen. Crown him with many crowns.
once the Lamb upon his throne. Hark how the heavenly anthem drowns all music but its own. Awake my soul and sing of him who died for thee, and hail him as thy matchless king through all eternity. Crown him the Lord of life, who triumphed o'er the grave, who rose victorious in the strife for those he came to save. His glories now we sing, who died and rose on high, who died the eternal life to bring, and lives that death may die. Thank you for joining us for a sunrise service. I hope you enjoyed it and feel free to share with your friends and family. I hope you have a wonderful Easter and if you'd like to get a hold of me, you can email me at pastorjohnmorris at gmail.com. Again, have a wonderful Easter and thank you for watching.